Garrett Blevins here with week two, day four on the King RTS split. I had uh, pause squats, uh, one inch bench pauses, and conventional deadlifts today. Ended up doing this workout late at night. Uh, went from about midnight to two in the morning or so. So it's kind of really a different time for me. However, um, was really happy with how it went. Squat depth was as good as it's ever been for me, and I know that this is legal depth. Um, I was only using about 460 for these sets. I did uh, six sets at two. This will be the last volume protocol that I do for a little while. I'm going to spend more of this cycle in intensity and probably second to last week go back to volume, and then uh, last week do a deload. Might do the last two weeks as a deload. Um, on my assistance work and just focus on the main movements, but try to get my volume down. So these are the, uh, I believe, the first, third, and sixth set of pause squats, but I felt really good about these afterwards. Um, when I go this low, it really uses a lot more calf out of the bottom. I have to really strain with the toes to keep myself back and not going forward, so calves are pretty sore. On these, it's hard to see from uh, this particular angle but I don't touch my chest with the bench press. I leave it about an inch off or do just a real light touch where I'm maybe just touching the shirt but not even like pushing the shirt down. So you can see it a little better from this angle. These work shoulders a lot and will help you stay tight in the bottom position. Um, also teaches you not to go down too far towards your like stomach um, because you gotta keep that barbell pretty much over your shoulder joint. Uh, they're pretty taxing, and you got to be careful with them, I do, because uh, it can lead to injury. But those were some good ones. Did uh, five sets of five with 295. And here I got 415, um, did uh, six sets of three, and these felt pretty good as well um, overall. So I'm feeling uh, pretty good, a little tired, sleepy, but good workout. Glad I got it in. wanted to talk today about making plans. Um, something, this is uh, from the book of James. James was the... Uh, half-brother of Jesus. Uh, Christians believe they have a different father. So James is writing to uh, the church and he talks about people who make plans and they, they're making their own way. They're determining what their life is going to be like and they're acting as though they kind of know the future. And instead, uh, James critiques this and says, one ought to say, if the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. And if we do anything other than that, if we're saying we can make our own plans or we know what's going to happen to us, that boasting is arrogance and that boasting is evil. This for me is important for uh, my workouts and my progress. As I've said before, I, I can't really explain the progress that I've made this year. It's been really good. I'm very thankful for it. But I don't think it, I can boil it down to nutrition or programming. But at the same time, I'm thankful for it, and I've tried hard, and I'm going to keep doing my best. I'm not going to take it for granted. That said, though, um, I can't really be competitive with other lifters and look out in the world and see what other people are lifting and say, oh, I'm going to get stronger, I'm going to beat him, or I'm going to be better than this guy. Because what I'm receiving is kind of gifting and blessing from God. So if I start boasting and making plans about when I'm going to beat people or what I'm going to do or how much I'm going to lift, you know, that's that's arrogance. That's making it all about me, and it's not, in my opinion. Um, that's my philosophy on lifting, and I hope it uh, makes sense to some of you out there. Wherever you're at, I hope you're doing well. Blessings.